Hi, this is Matt Reisinger of the Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog dedicated to building science and fine craftsmanship. I'm on a job site today and we're doing a wall mock-up on a new product that I've not used before. There's a German company called Casella Dorkin that I met at Building Science Camp and they have some really interesting products that have been used for decades overseas, um, but I've not seen a lot in the States. I'm doing a project with uh, local architect Nick Deaver. This is a full stucco house that we're about to do, and so we wanted to do a mock-up of what it would look like if we used the Casella Dorkin products. The biggest thing that I was interested in is, uh, is this product. This is called uh, Delta Dry Stucco and Stone, and if you see on this side, it's a fabric membrane, but it's basically a dimple mat. We've used these a lot in below grade applications where we're looking for an air gap, uh, and of course you've seen me do a lot of rain screens in the past, but this is basically a rain screen for a stone or a stucco house. A really interesting product. And then along with that, they have a fully adhered, basically house wrap for lack of a better term. And so uh, let's stop the video here. We're gonna actually do a little bit of the wall mock-up and we'll pick this up in just a minute. Hey, I've got my lovely assistant Bill Wood with me today. <laughs> Bill, thanks for joining me as always. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, so what this pro this process from Casella Dorkin is slightly different than what you're used to seeing us do um, when we're doing products that, that we've used in the past. They actually want us to put the window uh, corners and basically make a pan assembly prior to installing the house wrap product. So they've got uh, these preformed corners, which are sort of a rubberized looking material. I'm not exactly sure what they're made from, some, some type of polyurethane possibly. But the cool thing is they're made to stick with all their products. So they've got Delta Thane adhesive and then Delta multi-band. And so we're gonna be installing the four window corners with these products. Basically, we're gonna lay down a small bead of Delta Fan. Bill, once you get started on that, and then we're gonna put the corner in, and then after the corner is done, we're actually gonna tape all the corners with this Delta multi-band. This multi-band reminds me a lot of the Sigo Wiglov tape that we've used in the past for air sealing. Very durable, super sticky uh, looking tape, and that's what it's gonna be used for. So that bead of caulk there is mainly just to hold that in place until we come back and tape it in. All right, so that corner goes right in there. And then you have a knife on you, Bill. Let's, let's cut this uh, multi-band. Why don't you cut that first strip off just to make sure it's, it's good. Okay. And let's cut a couple strips of that. All right. Here you go, you wanna start on that one? And then all we're doing here is using this taped adhesive to tape these corners down. And then you're gonna see in a minute when we install the house wrap on there, uh, Delta uh, Dry SA, no, Delta, Delta Dry SA, pardon me. Um, then we're actually gonna flap over top of this. So let's all right, so we're all prepped now. Uh, Bill and I got all the corners done, worked relatively quickly. Interesting, this Delta multi-band tape, boy, this stuff is super sticky. It reminds me a lot of Sigo Wiglove that we've used for air sealing in the past. No primer needed on that, stuck tenaciously to the plywood. Also seems to be adhering perfectly to this, this uh, corner product. Don't you agree, Bill? Absolutely. Yeah, so I think we're all set. It does feel a little weird to be quote-unquote reverse flashing. Um, we're used to doing this house wrap first and then perform and then forming our sills. But bear with me, we'll, we'll show you how that's going to work. So the next step now is to take this fully adhered Delta Vent SA. I think I was saying it incorrectly before. You can see this is a sheet product. It comes with a release paper on the back. And then here's, this is kind of cool. It's got a release on the front as well so that we, when we overlap the next layer, we can fully adhere it to this as well. One thing we're not doing on the video that, uh, that I think we'll do when we actually get to the house is uh, they do have a primer product uh, for OSB and plywood to make this stick even more tenaciously. Not super worried about that once you get your penetrations through that with your, um, uh, with your cladding, but I think that primer, of course, we always love using primers just to make sure that self-adhere products fully stick. So let's get started on, um, on this. Looks like we're about right here, Bill. How's that look? So I'm not exactly sure, but I'm thinking we want to adhere it like this and stick a corner. And then why don't you peel back and start peeling and we'll, uh, here you go, Bill, let, let go on your foot on that.
This yeah. product has a lot more body than uh, than a traditional uh, house wrap in that it, it feels almost fabric related. It's got it's got some serious substance to it. Oh, and look, it's got two peel layers too. That's interesting. I didn't know that. So there's a double release layer on the second half. This roll, by the way, is four foot eleven. So that by the time we get all our overlaps, you're going to cover a, a four by a, you know a four foot section basically with this house wrap. And of course, we want it to look pretty, so we're trying to adhere it so that it doesn't have a bunch of... Uh, it actually goes on pretty nicely, doesn't it? Man? Yeah, it really does go on pretty easily, doesn't it, Bill? Yeah. Look at that. Okay, now we got to peel this bottom layer, right, Bill? Have you done that yet? Yeah, look at that. It goes on real nice. I'm getting one little crinkle in it right there. Right, we're going to cut the video here. We're going to finish installing the top and the bottom section, then we'll show you how we cut out on the windows. So back in one place. Okay guys, what we did here is we want a, a minimum of a six inch overlap on our vertical seams. We have, what you have to do first of all is release the, uh, the silica nose tape so that you can get your overlap to work. And then we bring it down, we peel it all the way down and we adhere. I'm not gonna do that for you now, but I, I just wanna take a look at, at our lap here and how this glued portion really is tough, super sticky. And then as you bring your other sheet over the top, you will release this as well. And that makes just a perfect bond. All right, so now we're hitting that last layer here. We, we basically made an eight foot tall mock-up. And what we're trying to do is line up the bottom of this approximately with this line here. So we actually cut this five foot tall sheet. We're a little taller than we needed to be. And we've removed the adhesive backer, pardon me, the uh, release liner, I should say, on that top. And we're gonna smooth this all the way across the top. Or right above that window. As you can see, you're gonna make a crinkle or two in this before it's all said and done. Not the end of the world. It's actually probably a good thing so your architect and your clients know that when it gets installed that a crinkle is not a problem. It's not going to be always 100% perfectly flat and smooth. And release that here. Oh, that's right. I got to release this bottom one first, don't I? Okay, so here's what we're doing. We're pulling that release liner here, pulling it across there. Finish pulling that one, Bill. So as you can see, this is a fully adhered membrane, which is gonna make a really big difference in terms of air barrier for this house. Because now if you think about all those plywood seams that are behind this product, every one of those plywood seams is perfectly covered. All right, next step is uh, cutting out for that window here. So let's grab our knife and what we're gonna do is Basically, at, these, at the corners of the window, the install instructions from the manufacturer, from Cassell Dorkin, show that we're gonna cut up at a 45 degree angle uh, for about eight inches, 10 inches. Then we're gonna come across, meet in the center, and do the same thing back on these. So Bill, see if you can find that corner and do a 45 out of the corner, about 10 inches. This stuff cuts relatively easily for as thick as it is. And now you want to connect those two with a horizontal line because in effect we're going to be flapping these self-adhered uh, pieces in and forming a fully um, protected jam on the inside. This is really in some respects a commercial detail but the beauty of this is it's going to make a perfect air barrier for us. So then let's, oh yeah you got that one, sorry. Hit that one too. Now let's connect those two across. Okay, now I'm gonna take this one and since we've already released the, the air barrier, or pardon me, the uh, sticky layer back there, it's gonna be a little hard to tell in the, uh, in the video, but I'm gonna go ahead and lace in some photos so you can see it. So now we've formed a perfect sill 
And now Bill cut those in and then we're gonna wrap, we're gonna wrap these two corners now. You take that one, I'll take this one. And we're wrapping those corners all the way in. And now we've got a fully protected jam on all four sides of that window. All right, let's get the video, and the next step is we need to tape all of our Okay, guys, so now we've got our house wrapped, and earlier Matt had mentioned that uh, we were kind of doing it, uh, a reverse shingling effect uh, by putting these rubber corners in first. But now what we've done, if you can see here, we're using the Delta Flex Band, and what we've done is gone over the top of our house wrap, the Vent SA, and you just kind of lay it in there like that. Let's see if I can do this well. And this stuff is flexible, so you can actually make this corner. Look at that. And now we've done better than what we could have before. And that is a protected window opening. Now the next thing we're gonna do is move over to, to our vertical seams and the product that, that we're using here is the multi-band, the Delta multi-band, and the manufacturer recommends putting this on all of our vertical uh, joints. This stuff is super sticky already, but what we're gonna do is go ahead and really protect this with the Delta multi-band. The same sort of a setup. And this stuff is super sticky as well. What I like about this product is everything really sticks to everything else very well. And, you know, the problems that we have in construction, getting anything to stick is all the dust that's around. And these products really seem to be doing the trick. You can see my finger there. And then we just roll it down. And it, it might be good to run a J-roller over all this stuff as well. All right, we're back. Now that the, the uh, weather resistive barrier is fully completed, what got me excited about uh, Casella and Dorkin products to begin with is what we're showing here. This is Delta Dry Stucco and Stone. This is basically a dimple mat product that's gonna go up against our WRB. It's gonna provide a drainage plane um, behind our stucco and stone. But here's the cool part about it. They've adhered this fabric membrane to one side and so we're not gonna put traditional felt paper on. We're actually gonna put our scratch coat right over top of this. And then this product here is, is some type of plastic looking membrane that's gonna provide an air gap both behind the stucco and behind our WRB. The cool thing about this is, especially in Texas where we're in a hot, humid climate, we're air conditioning our houses 90% of the time, we really wanna be very cautious about solar driven moisture, especially with a reservoir cladding. A reservoir cladding meaning a cementitious product on the outside. Brick, stone, stucco, those claddings hold water. And so this is a zero perm product that's gonna have a vent space behind that stucco. So now at 4 a.m. when my sprinklers go off and wet my stucco and the sun comes up then at 10 and that stucco is soaked, it's not gonna be able to drive that moisture to the inside of the house. Of course, there'll be some amount that will get through there, but not nearly as much now that I've got this Zero Perm product and I've got a nice 3 8 inch air gap, 10 millimeters behind here so that I've got drainage and airflow behind my stucco and then behind my WRB. That is a really big deal. So now my 50 some perm Delta Vent SA, I have no problem with venting that forward um, because I'm not worried about that reservoir cladding and all that moisture that's in that driving towards the house. This is really, it's the best of both worlds. This has air barrier, weather barrier, and really manages uh, that bulk water properly. So this is an interesting product. We're gonna come back next week and actually do a couple stucco coats over this to show my trades what that's gonna look like uh, and evaluate it and decide if we're gonna use this product on this, on this new construction house behind me. But so far I've been really impressed. All the family of products uh, from Casella Dorkin have been really impressive. Thanks for joining me everybody. And if, if you're doing a reservoir cladding, I think this is a really good system for you to consider. We'll see you next time.